thank you for joining this session. We will talk about porting MVB applications. This is the outline of this session. We will, we will introduce ourselves. My name is Yurie Yamane. And my name is Masayoshi Takahashi. We are from Japan. <laughs> and Chi, our cat is our mascot. We, Jim Yamaneko, have developed MLB applications and development tools for MLB just for fun. We made an account Yamaneko in GitHub and other sites. We already have an application writing with MLB. This application is the leading actor of this session. So we introduced this product. Our product name is Cesaret. This is a model of washlet. Do you know washlet? This Japanese toilet automatic, automatically open and close the lid when human approach it. The type of toilet ha has a washlet, warm water washer, and when you press a button, it will wash you with warm water instead of toilet paper. You can see the details in Wikipedia. I found the movie of Washet in Toto website. Toto is a famous maker of Washet. Washet is a trademark of Toto. It automatically did opening and closing. Oh, it's okay. Oh, This is another movie of Watch It. It's a spray behavior. I made a model of this washlet with Lego Mindstorms because it is a washlet developed in a community called Sesame. It is called Cesaret. Sesame has developed teaching material for embedded system developers. Sesame is one for learning UML to state machine diagram. Do you use UML? I guess Rivist don't like UML because it is easy to write Ruby rather than UML. But embedded programmers need UML. State machine diagrams in UML2 have two regions, nested states and octagonal states. Using these two types of diagrams, we can model the state machine for the Cesaret. This is a state machine diagram of Cesaret. Our purpose is to teach diagrams like that, not to make funny Lego mind <laughs> Lego machine. Let's watch your movie of Cesaret. As you approach it, the sensor detects you <laughs> and lid opens. If you sit down, then you press the button. When you press the button, it's starting to spray. If you push the button during spraying, the spray will stop. When you stand up, the sensor detects that you are gone and the lid closes. <laughs> In this webcam, Tom Black talked about his 2D graphic framework using MLB, but I think many people don't know about MLB well. So let's see a brief introduction to MLB. MLB is not a new language, but 
just a lightweight implementation of Ruby language. It complies with the ISO Ruby specification, but it does not highly compile with the specific specification. Some class IO file and degree <laughs> and not included. You can use these classes with an official libraries. The current state version is 1.3.0. The syntax of MLB is similar with 2.x, but keyword argument is not supported yet. MLB is used in two different situations. One is be embedded in other application, so as web server, game, and so on. Other is embedded in systems or appliance. It's included in robot, IoT, and other devices. We will talk about the latter case. This figure is the structure of an MLB application. We can use three type of libraries, MLB lib, default MLB gem, and custom MLB gems. MLB gems are MLB libraries, like Ruby gems for MRI. MLB gems are loaded for the exec execution of Ruby code, but MLB gems are statically typed in MLB core code, code. It's an important difference with MLB gems. Because of that, we do not use the require method in MLB Ruby code. The video we have seen is Cesaret using Lego Mindstorm EVC. Today, we use other target board and Cesaret. What do you need to port your application into other board? At first, we should choose target board, including MCU on the board. Performance and memory size is important. Then you choose peripheral, such as sensor and motors. After that, we write MLB gems for the board and peripheral. MLB gems is like Ruby gems for MLB. Some MLB gems controlling hardware need C code. Others are only in Ruby. When you get enough MLB gems, you can write application itself in Ruby. Even so, why is porting MLB application so difficult? This reason we ask the question is because everything is different before, between targets. In embedded systems, which components are difficult? MCU, border, peripherals, OS, so we don't share code between different, different target users. Another reason is that MLB consumes less memory than CLB but it's too huge for some MCU. How do we solve the issue? In many cases, we make platform as compatibility layer. Before asking about the compatibility layer, we must first summarize our policy. First, it should be easy to use for users. Unfortunately, in order to do that, MLB gem authors need to make some effort or do some work, but this can't be avoided. This work isn't too hard because we are standing on the soldiers of giants. Soldiers of giants. There are many compatibility layers we can use. Let's look at them. Embedded is a popular platform on IoT, and you can use Embedded Wizard Network. Many boards support Embedded, and a huge amount of code and cookbook are very useful for developers. Arduino is more popular than Embedded. Arduino has many remarkable points. We will see them in detail later. CMCs. Cortex microcontroller software interface standard is a vendor independent hardware abstraction layer for Cortex MCU. 
the synthesis enables consistent device support. For example, synthesis DAP is an interface firmware for a debug unit. We can debug program in MCU without any special hardware and software. Another library is stmc 2 cubemx hub QBMX is a tool and libraries for ST microelectronics MPU. HAL is a hardware abstraction layer. This provides hardware abstraction layer driver API. If you are using ST Micro's APU, all of them can be used in the same way. Altus is also a kind of compatible layer. Altus abstracts hardware, so on the Altus. We can use take task API and DA API without worrying about hardware and configurations. So let's think about the design of our compatibility layer. It's not impossible to write low-level API in C and every other API in Ruby from scratch. If we do so, it's so more portable in Ruby layer, but this policy needs lots of work. We have already used EVC high level C API and we can use embedded libraries. We don't want to delight them in Ruby. In, in contrast to it, we make a thin layer over other platforms. In this way, we need to do as much work to implement it. Using multiple layers, we might have a problem with the performance overhead, but we don't have so much requirements for performance, so we can ignore it. How about the MDB API for application authors? We, do, we would like to use API in the same manner. In other words, Ruby API for similar function has similar method signature. Another requirement is a high protocol. Users should not have to know ICC or SPI, leading byte, uh, four byte or six byte. Now, let's show demo. This is a new Cesaret ported into an another board. We use different sensors and motors because original Cesaret, because original Cesaret use Lego, Lego original products. So we choose general part. He's a, <laughs> ah, I just, he's, his name is Beardu. He's a mascot of Japanese airline Beardu. Yes. He approached it. <laughs> Open. He sit down and push button. Move here. Ah, auto is good. And he Ah. Even if you use another board, the behavior is the same. Please wait. I tried another board. よし。He approached it. Sensor did good him and the lid open. He sit down and push button. Move spray. 
<laughs> you push it down, spray, stop, and uh, he go, read the clothes. Ready? Ah. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Demo to go to the demo. Now, let's talk about our target board. We use Drago Mine from EV3. Uh, EV3 supports Linux and Altos. We use Altos uh, called Topaz EV3 RT. As you see, we fold it into two boards. Think this, uh, this pink board is GLPH, Lensus board. GLPH has very powerful ARM um, processor, Cortex A9. It has huge memories, so very easy to use MLB. We call it Peach. Another target board is Nucleo F412 ST Microelectronics board. At first, we used a F401 board. This is major and cheap board in Nucleo family. Unfortunately, I caused a memory overflow while initializing MLB on the board. So, we changed F411 board. Uh, and this, this board has more memory. Uh, if we delete MLB lib from MLB, then we can execute MLB code, but we need some classes from MLB lib, and if we add them, then uh, memory overflow again. So we get more new board, this one, F412 board. This table shows profile of our board. The architecture of EV3 is a bit old, but it's very powerful like all the Raspberry Pi. The performance of Peach is like smartphone. It doesn't have power of PC, but still very powerful for microcontroller. Nucleo consumes much less map battery. Cortex-M4 is a typical microcontroller, but RAM is a bit small. There are various combination patterns. <coughs> Today's implementation is like this table. Libraries are middleware for abstraction hardware. Arduino connectivity means whether it has Arduino-like headers or not. This figure shows that which boards use which library. Green area is library. If library has a lot of features, your MRB gen becomes uh, more simple. <coughs> now let's explain Ruby code in Cesare. In this session, we explain only the part of human sensor and open the lid. Hmm? This behavior. Let's see how to use human sensor class and lid class. First, we make human sensor object and lid object. The arguments of constructor are different per board. If human sensor found something and the lid is not open, open the lid. I will introduce the hardware that Cesarit uses. The implementation of human sensor uses a different sensor between EV3 and the other board. Same with the CTX sensor. IR sensors and distance sensor are used for detecting human. IR sensor detects human and return true or false. Distance sensor measures distance to the detected object. The the distance sensor has uh, better accuracy, but the distance sensor is expensive, so I only have one. IR sensor is cheaper, and you can use an IR sensor for the second sensor, but accuracy is reduced. In other words, uh, you can use one IR sensor and one distance sensor, or two distance sensors. Next is motor. EV3 motor has built-in rotation sensor with one degree resolution for precise control. On the other hand, Peach and Nucleo use general purpose DC motor. The speed of the DC motor can be controlled by changing the voltage. Since the functions are different, we must implement both with different API. Let's talk about the implementation of the detected method and open method. The detected method 
determine if there is a person and the open method open the lead. First, we talk about detected method for EV3. This session measure uh, this sensor measures the distance to detected object. It compares the acquired value with the threshold and returns the result. <laughs> it compares uh, uh, when you call the open method, which open the lead, turn the motor by preset angle when called. On the other hand, IR sensor connected on pitch return if a human detected or not. The result is returned as one or zero, then convert to true or false, and return. This motor cannot be given a specific angle. Instead, specify the second to the motor, to turn the motor. Even if you use different types of motors, the open method should be designed so that the same result can be obtained. This will ensure library portability. Nucleo is also the same sensor and motors as Peach, but uses IR sensor class and motor class for Nucleo. The same IR sensor class and motor class are made for Peach and for Nucleo, respectively, because uh, this layer needs to be implemented for each hardware type, because there is a hard dependence below, below the, this layer. <coughs> This is a proposal to unify the method name of the sensor acquisition method. Also, we already talked about its content. It's important, so I will summarize again. Also, I feel that it's likely to be both pros and cons. It is to make it an abstract name rather than concrete name method. For example, the name of method that gets the value of sensor should be value. These names tend to be named after the API function being called in C. However, MLB users do not need to know what method in C is used to call this in this function. In the case of a sensor, if you call value, you get a value of sensor. Even there, is, there are things that cannot can take multiple kinds of values occasionally, we may add rules such as returning them by array of that. Uh, at first, I think that it's simple and easy to understand, easy to use implementation. Only when it's necessary, we are complicated one. If you need threshold, you should have two APIs. One is an accessor for the threshold, another method is detected. Detected method compare value and threshold. It's, very, it's just simple case, so still not enough. And uh, I'd like to talk about Arduino. At first, we are not interested in Arduino. Arduino is very popular, but Arduino Uno is too small to use MLB. But I had a chance to use Arduino, then I was very impressed by it. Why do you think Arduino is so popular? In my opinion, the language of Arduino is not so easy, but even non-programmer usually write it and run on Arduino. Why do you think they can do it? When people talk about Arduino, they are talking about libraries and or about IDE. Let's see both in detail. The library of Arduino is not only Arduino standard library, but also other libraries for various boards. If you use a major board, you can find an Arduino, board, Arduino library for the board. Same with IDE. Arduino IDE has a very config various configuration for popular board. If you use it, you can develop easily on the board. As I said, when, I, when you want to configure your board and you can find library and same a sim, sample code for your board, uh, you can use the board even if you don't know how to program. If you have working sample code, modify, modifying it is not so hard. This is an important way to increase users. When users try to modify the, the code and they succeed, then they also upload it. This cycle builds a good ecosystem in the world. As Arduino is so popular, does nobody use MLB? Of course not. Arduino is not, so, not perfect. 
Arduino IDE is good for one sketch for one program. So if you want to use multiple files, it's not so easy. Code of Arduino tend to be single but long file. Another defect is debugger. In cross environment, development seems to be hard without debugger. We had made an MRuby debugger using GDB protocol, but we got few responses. Even so, even so, supporting debugger is important thing for development embedded systems. Another good point of Arduino is compatibility header, compatible headers. The headers of Peach and Nucleo is the same layout of I.O. pins of Arduino. <coughs> if a board supports this layout, we can use Arduino shield on the board. This figure is GR Peach pinout. This green area and red area is compatible with Arduino pinout. This figure is Nucleo pinout. Like previous figures, green area and red area is the same layout as Arduino pinout. <coughs> Let's compare with GRP pinout and Nucleo pinout. GPIO pins layouts are same, but other pins, such as serial pins, SPI pins, and so on, are different. These targets are very different, but it's better to use the same pinout. I saw that MRB needs a rich development environment, but now I realize it's not, so, it's not enough to spread MRB. We need more library and sample code supporting many targets, easy to find in GitHub or Google, easy to use for beginners like Arduino library. I hope we can all work together. This is what we want to tell you in this session. If you feel inspired, please join us and share your work. And so conclusion is uh, we, w we went uh, over two examples of porting an application. What we learned are like both independent code and love different architecture and share many samples on the web. At last, we talk about future plans. During the development of Cetalet, our biggest issue was memory. We want to solve it. Another plan is porting other boards. While we try to port, we have several problems with memory. Especially in nucleos, we have trouble with memory in the initialization phase and crash. To solve the issue, we should use more ROM rather than RAM. It's not easy and it might have an impact to other MLB users, but we cannot ignore the issue, I guess. Another challenge is porting into non-ARM chips, such as ESP32. Tensus will release another ARM plus ESP board. This board lets you use ARM and ESP. We are eager to accept this challenge. We told that we should select the board first at first, but what we really want to do is select Ruby language first and we can use MRuby on many boards. Let's try to use MRuby, develop MRB gem, and share your story. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. <laughs>